Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have a supplemental technique for uh, uniting the lower mental body with the higher mental body. Uh, as you may recall, another name for the lower mental body, which is the term of theosophy, is the um, inner child, the inner child or the lost child of the soul, which is a term from psychology and family counseling. So, so the idea is to become one. And so the, uh, the reason for that is that unless we are one, we will go through life with inconsistency in our behavior. Our lower uh, mental body, our inner child, will be asking us to behave in one way, and the rational mind, the higher mental body, will be demanding that we act in another way. And the result will be inconsistent behavior. There will be times when our lower mental body gets the upper hand and has this um, act on its own desire, desires. And other times when the rational mind takes over like Dr. Spock in Star Trek. So when the two are united, the heart center, the center between the two, will become the governing force. Um, and so... The heart will act as one, and we will be able to consistently follow the heart. The heart has the strength of electromagnetic field energy to unite these two. Okay, So, so that's the logic behind all this, is that it allows us to lead a consistent life, a, 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 a united and harmonious life. So I thought of another technique to, to make this happen, and this will work if you remember how you looked at the age of, say, um, one year, two years, five years, and eight years like that, or if you have pictures of that, right? So it's better if you have photos. So you could just put the photos up on your bedroom mirror or on your bathroom mirror and look at them every day. Just gaze at the pictures of how you looked at those different ages. But if you don't have pictures, photographs, you can draw pictures of how you looked or you can find pictures on the internet that look like that and that remind you of yourself at that age, yes? And put those up on your bedroom mirror or your bathroom mirror and look at them every day. Maybe every night before you go up to sleep would be good. Or every morning when you get up. And so sooner or later what that will do is it'll start start the remembering the remembering of how it was at those different ages and the remember of remembering of all the unsolved problems and dilemmas of those times and that will come up for a solution through the through the feeling realm through the heart you will come to an understanding of how that was and how it is today and how it can all be better so I hope you like this idea. It's another technique that works very well, I feel. <laughs>